Good morning, students. This is Ms. Rosado, and I'm really excited to be able to read Miss Brooks Loves Books, and I Don't. <gasps> but what am I seeing on this cover? I see a little girl who doesn't look very happy, although she's sitting on a pile of books. And I see another very happy woman who looks like a librarian reading a book. Well, let's see what this is about. The book is by Barbara Botner, and its pictures are by Michael Emberley. Miss Brooks loves books, and I don't. Miss Brooks is our librarian. She loves books a lot. She loves the runaway bunny and Babar and where the wild things are and the very hungry caterpillar. I asked Miss Brooks why she dresses up for Reading Circle. Oh, I want you to get as excited about books as I am, she says. I think Miss Brooks gets a little too excited and I bet her costumes itch. Halloween means we each have to find a poem to share. But all the books with witches, ghosts, and goblins are checked out. And I hate pumpkins. So I make up a Halloween poem of my own. Eek! A freak! The class looks at me funny. Miss Brooks says, Well, it's a start. All year long, Miss Brooks reads us books. Books about dragons and pilgrims and presidents. Books about love and leprechauns. Groundhogs, even. It's vexing. Then, in May, Miss Brooks tells us about something truly terrifying. Book Week! You each need to pick a favorite story to share with the class. I want you to wear a costume and tell us all about it. Really show us why you love it, she says. I'll never love a book the way you do, I tell Miss Brooks. Don't be sure, she says. When I get home, I ask my mother if we can move to a new town. My mother says there's a librarian in every town. <laughs> That's right. I ask if she wants to do my assignment for me. I've already been in first grade, says my mother. Book week. Then the flower fairy flew out. Giddy yip, yip yip yo. So he just said woof. Every single day of book week, kids share stories about trains and ferries and cowboys and dogs. When Miss Brooks asks what I think, I say, too flowery, too furry, too clickety, too yippity. So Miss Brooks filled my bag with more books for me to read with my mom. But I don't like any of them. They're too kissy, too pink, and too silly, I tell my mother. You're as stubborn as a wart, she says. Warts? I want to read a story about warts, I shout. Warts! My mother finds a book called Shrek. Shrek has hairs on his nose and he snorts. I love that. Oh, can you read it again? I ask. Snort, snort, snort. I love this book. I have to practice the words over and over, but my mother helps. Then we make an ogre costume. I make stick on warts for the whole class. When I get to school the next day, I ask Miss Brooks to lend me a hand. When I say the word snort, the whole class snorts. 
I explain why a stubborn, smelly, snorty ogre searching for a revolting, disgusting bride makes me laugh. Snort, snort, snort. Miss Brooks says she's glad I found a book to love. She says that even ogres like me can find something funny and fantastic and appalling in the library. And that is the slimy truth. I just love this page when I see that little girl with a big smile because she finally found a book she loves. Have you found a book you love? Well, let us know. See you next week. Bye.